Welcome to HNHN Daily. I'm Hayden Bush, online editor for Hospitals and Health Networks magazine, and today I'm joined by Malik Joshi, president of the Health Research and Educational Trust of the AHA, to discuss a new HRET report, Improving Health Equity Through Data Collection and Use. Malik, thanks for joining me today. Thank you, Hayden. Malik, I'd like to start off just by getting a sense of the key findings from this new report. Sure. Well, thank you very much for the opportunity, and, and I should give credit to Awo Seon too, who's our primary author of the report. It's a, it's a great opportunity to kind of showcase and share best practices around specific areas of improving health equity. And what we find is we know that disparities in healthcare is a complex issue. And we know there are many steps to help us in terms of improving health equity. And one of the key steps is collecting data on your patient population regarding their race, their ethnicity, and their primary language, and using that data for improvement in your own organization. So what we know is about 50 to 80% of the time, you know, the range, hospitals are doing this systematically, routinely on every admission. So it's not at 100%, so we have some improvement opportunity. What we also know is those that are collecting the data are not using it as much as we'd like to see the opportunities to use. So we have two opportunities. One is to collect it, and two is to use the data that's collected. And what are some of the steps that hospitals can take right now to improve the data collection? Um, There's issues around the IT systems. Uh, Changing IT systems to allow you to collect this data is not always easy, but that has to be done. The second part is kind of the the approach to doing it. Uh, Staff feel uncomfortable in asking this information. They worry that patients are uncomfortable in providing the information about their race, ethnicity. So those are issues in the HRET Disparities Toolkit that you can get for free online helps you through that approach, gives you ideas, gives you tips on how to make that happen. There's also obviously, like with most efforts, you need senior engagement and buy-in to do this work. And so that's a critical piece in terms of overcoming barriers. And I think finally, there's lots of resources out there, not just at HRAT Disparities Toolkit, but through other state and national, and to leverage those can help you do that. Like any project, it can't just be a project. It has to be a part of what you're doing and improving care for all your patients. So getting engaged, tracking this data, helping staff to collect it, educating your staff and your community about how to do it, they're all important pieces of it. And Malik, once you have your data collection kind of up and running and improved, what do you do next to actually put some of that information into action? Yeah, great question. And I think this is kind of our our next wave. Uh, We've been great in improving the collection. Now it's time to use. And there are a couple of things. One is we're doing great in improving quality in the hospital world. As you can see from the improvement in the core measures and clinical process measures, improvement in patient satisfaction. But we also know from ARC and others that disparities still persist. And so one opportunity is to use the data that's collected and to stratify your own quality measures by race, ethnicity, primary language data. So you can look at an equity dashboard. We're all looking at dashboards at our governance and our leadership level on quality. But can you stratify it one more level to look at it by race, by ethnicity? And when you do that, what opportunities are there? Can you find language translation services you should be providing more of? Can you customize your health education materials? Can you just identify gaps in your care process or opportunities for improvement? So that's a huge area, and I should say, Dr. Joseph Betancourt at Mass General has done a fabulous job in in his Disparity Solution Center to work on these issues and has some ideas around that. The second part is obviously you could review all your measures by race, ethnicity, and it helps you in terms of just identifying gaps in the clinical intervention. So as we think about readmissions, and patient satisfaction, looking at that data by that level might help you to figure out what are the interventions you want to put in place. Do you do better follow-up in certain areas? Do you do other types of care in the hospital on discharge planning because of that? So there are different ways to slice and dice the data, but when you have it and you can stratify it, you have so many opportunities to identify further improvement areas. Well, Malik, that's all the time we have for today. Uh, Thanks so much for joining us. Hayden, thank you very much for the opportunity.